So if an inventory is necessary to account for your income, you must generally use an accrual method for purchase and sales. See, however, inventories later. So inventory, as we have seen, is an area where it might force you to be on an accrual method, but noting here that it may only force you to be on an accrual method for the tracking of inventory because putting the inventory on the books as an asset as opposed to expensing it when you purchase it is an accrual component. The other purchases that you might make may still be on like a cash-based system. And again, there could be some exceptions to inventory basically for small businesses. So if you have inventory, you wanna make sure that you're working out what your accounting process is and what the tax uh, process will be, choosing the proper and appropriate method on the tax return for the first year of operations. You can use the cash method for all other items of income and expenses. If you use the cash method for figuring your income, you must use the cash method for reporting your expenses. So they're trying to have some consistency on the revenue method and the expense method if you use the cash method for figuring your income. Note that normally for many small businesses, the question is whether or not they have to move from a cash method to an accrual method on the revenue reporting side of things. In other words, oftentimes the question might be, I would like to, as a small business, be on the cash method because I think that would be easier, but I'm in the type of industry that's forcing me to be on an accrual method for the revenue recognition side of things. And this will often happen if I have to track accounts receivable, for example, in like a law firm, you're going to do the work first oftentimes and then invoice the client. When we invoice the client, that's when revenue is going to be recorded and accounts receivable is going to go up and then we'll have to collect the revenue at a later point in time. So that means that if you're tracking accounts receivable, you basically have an accrual method uh, generally. So that's going to be the general idea normally. People are, might want to try to be on a cash-based system but need to deviate on the revenue side to the accrual basis due to their revenue uh, tracking and having to track the accounts receivable. So if you use an accrual method reporting your expenses, you must use an accrual method for figuring your income. So again, normally in practice, it's kind of the reverse, right? The small businesses 